The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. My name is Ray. Last name is Reynolds. You might want to write that down on that tablet and pen. You have to go get now. I need you to write down today's date because we're going to look at a timeline. I'm going to look at a timeline to get you the first million, maybe 100 million, maybe a billion. But again, it's going to be up to you. Will you follow through what I tell you to do? It's simple. I've made millionaires and billionaires for 45 years. They call me the godfather credit. Kind of fun. Live, this is all the thing I do is always live. I don't like pre-recorded what I call crap, to be honest with you. So the main thing today is write things down, put it here. Understand how to play the game and win. There's no pictures. There's no recording. I want you to write it down so your mind records it. Now, I like goodies. You like goodies? It's simple. I like Lamborghinis and Ferraris and all kinds of goodies. The American dream, drive the car of your dreams, live on the hill. When he sues you, they get a dilly squat. Isn't that the American dream? Now it's not so easy. See, it's kind of a pain in the ass set. When I was a little boy, I was born in a taxi on the way to Guardian Hospital. My mommy didn't want me. She threw me away. I got to be with Mrs. Hope, the she-devil from hell. She used and abused me too. Your journey today begins with me. I'm going to show you how I got to million to billion. Is that okay? Now draw the diagram in front of you. Let's understand something today. Look around in your city, whatever state you live in, and look at how Bank of America bankrupt 5,000 locations. They wrote it off in their taxes called a branch. All right, Chase, U.S. Bank and Wells Fargo. How about we look at Sam's Club? They did the same thing too. How about we look at cities and Geico? One of Warren Buffett's companies. You see, you got a choice to understand how to play, but your problem, you never look behind the curtain. I'm sorry. You listen to sheep and ducks, and that's what you did. Now, let me prove my point to you today. I want you to write down, stop bringing the pain home. I want to basically certify you as a CFO, the right way you're supposed to be. You know the knowledge you need to know. Next, I want you to change your mindset into millionaire status. Now, I need you to look behind the curtain. Let's understand something. I'm a little boy being dropped off for Redondo Beach Pier. My Mrs. Hope, at basically three years old, so nine and a half years old. I ran over to the light. It was a little hot dog stand to keep warm. I stole it out of a trash can, ate out of that too. I didn't like hell. When I looked at Marina Del Rey, Torrance Rocks, Palace Verdes, Rat Beach, I knew I was as smart as they were. I taught myself how to read at two year and a half years old. So I want you to look behind the curtain from now on. I want you to learn how to play the game of win. Now, understand, we're going to peek around that curtain. You're going to look, and you're going to hear the word no, and I don't want you to pay attention. See, no doesn't mean no. That means I don't know how. That's the biggest problem you have today. You didn't learn how to play. Sorry, and most of you brought the damn pain home. You see, the problem with you, you didn't know how to play the game, and you got your assets kicked. That kind of sucks. So today we're going to play my way. You're going to get out your personal credit cards. You're going to put a stick in the back, or at least write down the procedure. Write down the limit of the card. All right, 25% maintain always, never past 29%. There's 100,000. 
71,000 of safety, that gives you a line of defense. So let's understand something today, the line of defense. Now you're going to look at the two cards. You get to max out up to a million dollars. They don't fluctuate your credit at all. And guess what you get to do as long as you maintain the payment. I can get you 750 and you can maintain it the rest of your life as long as you pay attention today. we got to look how it all got started. Thomas Raymond Woolridge, Bicycle Parts Information Business. TRW, the report's wrong. Then they got bought out basically by a spirit in 96. When I was training Ken Yarbrough years ago, it was kind of fun. So understand the rules and tools. It's good, it's fair, or hell no. These cards will balance your score to 750. You got it so far? We're going to teach you the rules and tools how to play. Now, we got to get that tab and a pen. Go get it now, now, now. Because we want to make sure you understand how to play. So those kids in high school don't do the same thing you did. Saying they make the same stupid mistake. Sorry to say, but it's true. What did you do? You jacked them up. You dropped your score. You got stuck. Hell, you can't get any more. You couldn't ride up Dilly Squat and then you honked your house. I'm sorry. I call that stupid. You're not stupid. What you did was stupid. So let's understand something today. Half the people in this world are friggin' lazy. I got this millionaire building call. I want to blueprint you. I want to go through your life, go Humpty Dumpty, and look at past, present, and future. We're going to talk about your family, your wife, your husband, your kids, and all the goodies. Then we're going to have a corporation. Oh, you got one? Oh, goodie for you. Did you spend thousands for it when they're free from every state with a little filing fee? Then you're going to have 26 divisions, by the way. And I invented division process in 85, 86. You get to play with me. Isn't that fun? Now you're going to write down irrevocable trust. The next thing is the car. You drive a car, you can always ride it out. That's not the point. The point is in a bump, buddy, bump, they're going to sue you because you're the registered owner. That's kind of dumb. Did you know the registered owner should be a division of a corporation? So they sue the division, not the corporate, not you. You got to learn how to play, like I said, too. So the house, you got one of those? Oh, goody. That means when you filed any <laughs> escrow closed homestead trust, everybody knows where you live. By the way, the house should have been bought through the trust. Next, residual income. You didn't do that? I was 17 and a half, and I had my 19 houses. They told me, no, I couldn't get number 20. What am I going to do? I heard no. Hell no. I transferred to my division, my process. I freed up my loan to value problem. And you know what I did? I was focusing on $1,000 a month. At 17 and a half, that was my bills. I need $1,000 a month to pay my bills to free up my time and do what I'm doing anyway. Fun. In my book, basically, series that I came out with winning the game of business 45 years ago, I wrote down on page six, paragraph three, free up your time, cash flow, free up your time. I was showing the world what I was doing. I know some ding dong stole that too. It's okay. He's on TikTok going blah, blah, blah. He filed bankruptcy a couple of times. He's actually a kind of a, I hear he's a crook. Oh, well, what can I say? But again, you got to learn to play my way. Now, ask yourself two questions right now. Write them down. Do you want to enhance your income? Or do you want to replace it? Which one do you really want to do? Circle the one you want. I'll get you there if you let me. Simple. Now you're going to have to get your hands dirty. This means when you look at Tickety Talk, Google, and YouTube, oh, goody, you hear blah, 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 blah. You know, if they're not the person talking to you, going to give you the blah, blah, blah with rules and tools and hold your hand through the whole process till the end, I think it's a bunch of BS. That's just my opinion. I want you to write down, what about me? Say it out loud. What about me? What do I get to learn? What do you do for me? Isn't that the goal? That's why you're here today. What about you? Simple. I like to basically, you know, certify you as a CFO. Is that okay? CFO and I build you a million dollars of credit, but you got to pay attention. You got to do what I want because I'll get you there. Again, it's kind of bumpy in the beginning because you jacked everything up and screwed it up. Most of you, probably all of you. Let's look at chapter 18 here. Oh, my goodness. A corporation's a legal person. Now, I was lucky. I heard that when I was seven and a half years old. I heard it at this poker game Mrs. Hope had every Wednesday night. I'm in the corner writing my little notes, listening to all the silly people go blah, blah, blah. So I wrote it down. I went down to the Torrance Police Department because there was a library next door. I walked in and said, man, what does this mean? She was rude, too. She walked away. Five minutes later, here's a mock of his book. Well, that's nice. Here's a mock of his book. What? I read the book. You know what I had a problem with? The book. I was looking for a damn blueprint. I wanted steps how to get there.
All I got is blah, blah, blah. I bet you read the book too. Good for you. And you're still screwed up. You see, the bottom line is you need a blueprint step by step how to do it and build it up. Now, I didn't pay attention when it says may sue or be sued. There is my biggest problem because I got named in a lawsuit when I was 12 and a half years old. But you know what happened? When I was nine and a half, I got brave enough to send away $10 money order, Secretary of State of California. See, right now, they're 30 bucks. It cost me 10 back then. It came back. It came back as helping hand industries. And all of a sudden, we got freaked out because I got $100,000 of credit cards in the mail. Can you imagine in the 70s and 80s? People got credit cards in the mail without applying for credit. And then a bunch of idiots all right, start using their SSN, screwing that up for everybody, too. A bunch of silly, silly, stupid people. I got named in the movie Dave, too. Did you know I got named in a lawsuit at 12 and a half because I used the word Braille? I didn't realize it was belonged to the Braille Institution. I didn't know learn to trade name, trademark, and copyrights. So write down, never bring the pain home. Is that okay? Now, as we play, remember, if you got a corporation, oh, goody for you. You probably spend thousands for a piece of paper to learn diddly squat. Don't worry. When they sue the corporation, they sue you. You're the founder. Do the officers list? Oh, you got a registered agent? They have to tell who you are, too. You're still a duck and a sheep. If you understand the division process, you can protect your ass. Yes. But again, it's up to you. Now, if you got an LLC, which a lot of dumb people did, the LLC, oh, goody. LLC, come January 1st, the Treasury Department wants to kick your ass heads. You don't fill out that form, it's $500 fine per day. You never needed an LLC in the beginning, by the way, unless you got in the profit zone of three to five million. Well, we can play with what you got today. We'll talk about different types of corporations on my setup on level one that I have on Wednesday and Saturday, usually at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, too. Now, the goal is a corporation with division process and never bring the pain home. Is that okay if you learn to play with me? Now, the next thing is warning about me. Well, because I'm honest and I'm blunt. And I tell it like it is. If you followed stupid, you did stupid. You're not stupid, but you did stupid. Now, I'm the godfather of credit, build millions and billions. I tell people what to do all the time. It's fun. And then I treat them like they're two years old. What's the goal again? Never bring the pain home. Isn't that the ultimate goal? So guess what? Now, here's our problem. You woke up today the same time you did yesterday. You're having the same damn rerun. Whose fault's that? Yours. Why didn't you get up an hour earlier tomorrow and get some me time? And then think about the list. The list. You see, you go shopping, right? You have a list, don't you? See, your goal list is the index of a book. What about the activity sheet? How about the daily list, the weekly list, and how we get to projects? A project list is when we get that $200,000 line of credit called checkbook money. We get to play. But again, I want you to play the way I want you to play. Now, I got bored. It was terrible. I got my first man, 14 and a half years old. Impossible, but I did it anyway. I had a beard at 12. They didn't know how old I was anyway. You know what? At 26, I got $2.6 billion of corporate structure, and I was bored. I was bored. When you got everything you want, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and the mansions, and the yachts, and the race boats, and the race cars, what do you do? Well, I decided to help people like you. Is that okay? My wife calls this my hobby. It's probably true. So guess what we get to do? Now, I want you to write down, you need self-confidence. You need to self-discipline. You need self-motivation. My motivation was to get out of hell. I didn't like being used and abused as a kid. He didn't have a trash can, by the way. Fight through the pain. Is that okay if we learn to play that too? It's missing the you. Oh, guess what we get to do? Foolproof program. This means a foolproof program as long as you follow through. Now, I got rich and famous clients all the time. Lakers, Clippers, and Dodgers, and Angels, and all kinds of fun stuff. All right, even Arnold there too. And Superman for Gold's Gym, college professor. And that got even homeless people. I put them basically to the race 360. And then from there, Giovanni did the first black cartoon when he worked for Pixar. I got him a million sacks. Oh, there's little Karen who delivered pizza at the boot camp that weekend. I said, stick around. I taught her how to be a multimillionaire through corporation structure and division process in Long Beach, California. Oh, she got a million two in nine months. Oh, we got to help people come out of prison, too. They need a second chance. Here's Free Ray Dickie Ross.
Get him gold and platinum cards unlimited up to a million bucks. We got Thomas. He was in prison for 26 years, but coaching every Saturday, coaching him again and again and again. Within six months, he did what I told him to do. I got him brand new dump trucks doing millions a year. See, your problem is you don't understand how it works and you didn't look behind the damn curtain. Let's see the biggest mistake you did. Let's understand. The SS5 form equals SSN, such good number, and for the 1040 tax return. Now, if you were born in 71 on, that means Nixon took the gold standard out. Mommy signed the form for you. She didn't pay attention. If she didn't find, sign the form, the baby, and you couldn't get out of the hospital. If you did it before, 14 to 16, they gave you one number. And all these grown-ups screwed it up for everybody. Stupid people start using it for credit purposes. Talk about stupid. But again, it's called we the people. There it is. There's that number. It's not even yours. Why don't we compare it to the SS4? S is five, S is four. Put your hands like this. This means tax, 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 and probably when you're dead. And then they want to take the time of death, state and federal government. They want to make sure nobody moves your goodies when you're dead because you can't take it with you. That's how it works. The S is four, no taxes due to your profitable. Isn't that fun? So it doesn't matter what type of corporation in the beginning. It matters how you receive the money to the SS4. Just go to my setup level one every Wednesday and Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, what did it say on line one again? Legal name of entity or individual person. I could put your name right there. Isn't that fun? Now, if you're a crook and you don't file tax returns, just go to prison like Wesley Snipes did. Wesley was one of the top action actors out there making lots of money. Then he listened to his idiot attorneys and CPAs in Beverly Hills, California. Three years in prison, $5 million fine. Screwed up his whole life. So if you listen, it's irs.gov. Look up the 1244. And that means you can file one tax return called single filing with you in the corporate and almost not paying tax anyway. Up to at least three to five million, we get to play. Now, Richard was great. He won Survivor the first time. He got a million dollar check. What did he do? I said, reference three times five. What did he do? Instead of keeping 375 we were supposed to, he pissed it away. Then he went to prison for three and a half years, 10 years probation. Then he screwed that up too, went back to prison. I guess he liked it. I guess so. So the lack of knowledge is the stupidity of man or woman. I don't think people are stupid. I think this follows stupid or half the world's freaking lazy anyway. Now, the United States of America Incorporated, they got 50 corps called states. States got corps called cities, and they created Chapter 9 bankruptcy. Because, of that, oh, shit, they happened to them. They bankrupt 11 cities so far. And you're watching, they're going, meep, 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 meep. that's about it. Your problems, you didn't pay attention. Let's pay attention today. It's called We the People. Corporation through the Supreme Court says it's a legal person. So stop bringing the pain home. Would that be okay if we play my way for a while? I want you to write down division of me. I want to look at that form one more time. Put your name, corp, division, subsidiary, right in that form. I want to build you a million dollars of credit, but I need you to do what I tell you to do. If not, it's not going to work for you. Uh, division of me. Let's talk about the million dollar Lamborghini. Part of the collection. Here's the key. Boom, boom, boom. First got it. The payment was sixteen hundred a month. Now, if I take, if they don't pay for it and they take it away, then I'll have shitty credit. They were reported through the IRS as a 1099C, so I have double shitty credit. Well, that sucks, and I'm not stupid, so I wouldn't do it that way. Oh, you buy it through the corp? No, because they see my name on the corp. They sue the corp and sue me. That makes no sense too. So what did I do? I bought it as a division of a corporation. Remember I showed you SSN versus SS4? I guaranteed it's a division of me. Now, I got my shopping centers. I got my apartment complexes, 22,000 pay phones. I wrote the book on laundromats and dry cleaners and all this good stuff, having fun making money up to a million dollars a day. It's kind of fun. If I got one shitty piece, I'm going to do the three-step. Disconnect, I say incorporate. We'll put that sucker over here. If I can't save within six months, I'm going to bankrupt the crap out of it under the Federal Protection Act and throw it away. Why did you allow yourself to be one? Isn't that a lonely number? Why, why would you ever do that to yourself? That makes no sense. But again, we're going to repackage you my way. You sign a lease of a building. It's a division of you. You buy properties. Oh, goody. Which one's going to slip, fall, and sue you and screw you up? It got to be a division process. Oh, how we get the money has to be SS4 so we don't pay tax so we have profit. Now, the next thing we have to look at is the Fair Lending Act. There's 12 acts to master. 
This is unlimited up to a million dollars. Did you know it allows you up to 99 more? How many would you like? See, you're not winning the damn lottery today. You're not getting a raise, are you? How are you going to finance an American dream? And write it all off too, corporate credit. Now, Mary's sweet. She called the office. <laughs> Stop. Mary, tell me the truth. What happened? I gave $10,000 to my attorney retainer. He looked at the lease and got three options too. 5000 to the CPA. She, and she goes, when I dropped and I had my score drop because I used 98000 of personal credit. My score from 800 went to yeah, crap. She asked him on the phone, what did I do? What's the response? Because they're stupid. <laughs> See, the CPAs and attorneys don't know how to be an entrepreneur, most of them. Or there's a lot of idiots out there. So let's understand. Mary's problem is she signed a lease for 10 years in three options. Oh, goody, the restaurant failed. It filed a bankruptcy. And then she filed personal bankruptcy and lost her home. Her husband divorced her three weeks later. See, if Mary would have came to me first, like all of you should, this means you should be a CFO of the corporation. This means that restaurant should have been a division. And that way that division got skirt up, not the corp and the family. See, your problem is your lack of knowledge is why you bring the damn pain home. I want to certify you as a CFO. I want you to never to bring the pain home and do it my way for a while. I think your way sucks. Sorry to say, but it's true. Look at your corp if you have one today. I bet you use your name and you put your home address on it too. You should have used a mailbox to set or a shared office space. You added yourself to the national mailing list. Congratulations. You got robocalls and junk mail. But what happens today if you put your ducks in a row my way? Because right now when they sue that corp, they sue you. That kind of sucks. How about we get you the line of defense? And you basically, what, never bring the paint home. Will that be okay if you play my way for a while? There's a hundred million dollar building. Here's a million dollar Lamborghini, one of the five million dollar mansions I obtained to, and one of the million dollar race boats. I obtained this stuff. Why haven't you? Are these turned out? Maybe you're not paying attention today. Now, you don't get these kind of goodies to get five million, okay? So I like to make you a corporate millionaire as we play the game. Now, let you add you to my credit system. Let me do that for you. And we get to play and ask what your goals are today. And then we look at credit, loan, and money. Here's your problem. You had some money. You spent it. You pissed it away. went bye-bye. 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 What happened? Why didn't you leverage it, reference three times five before you pissed it away? I don't understand. So let's put $100,000 in a corporate bank account. If you don't have it, let's take it off of a damn car. Is that okay? And then that way the bank gives you $1.5 million. And now your corporation doesn't do business and manages a division for franchise. And an apartment complex ran by third party. You create a lot of defense. And what happens? You get financial freedom. And you start building residual income like I did since I was 17 and a half years old. Why did you do this? I mean, I don't understand. All right. If you need 100000 a day, okay. National average, somebody might build it for 10%, $10,000. Through me, I give it to you 50% off, $49.99. There you go. All right, here's the Zell. Take a picture. Ray Reynolds, recipient, Ray RayRayRacecredit.com. Always put RW in your Zell. Now, let's understand. If I got you credit to get residual income, why don't we loan out some money? All right, privately loan some money. So if I take $50,000 off of a card and I dissect it to five people, I put a homestead blocker, and you see someone on their property, they have that. Make sure if they don't pay me, I get all the goodies. Every 50000 gets $2,000 positive cash flow. So that's the ultimate goal. Every 50000 after the bills are paid, you got 2000 left over to the corporation. Now, if you did this, you could do it basically multiply too. Now, here's my matrix in my book called Buckets of Money. My first matrix was 190000 a month. Is that okay if we play my way for a while? The next thing is I've been doing this for 45 years in line or in person. You get to play with me. So let's understand, here's your problem. I have this boot camp coming in this weekend. Every one of you need to go there because what's going to happen is the mindset. I got basically a nice client. I got him from 663. He's now an 800 score. I told him what to do, and he didn't do exactly. He says, this morning on the phone, he says, Ray, I got good news and bad news. All right, what's the good news? I got the line of credit for 130000 I told you to do 2.5 million in projection business plan. Well, I didn't do that. If I would have, I would have got two. I would have got 250,000. 
How do you get people to do what you tell them to do? He says, now understand, that was for division. Now we're going to do next division my way more. He goes, next time we'll listen. You should have did this time. You said you were going to. See, you have a problem. You don't have your time. You don't have your time. Right now, your time has you. And that's your biggest problem. You see the mindset. So if you're not at this three-day boot camp, all right, and hear what needs to be done foundation, I'm sorry. This whole one is all about basically residual income, real estate, loaning out money, all kinds of stuff. We're going to cover the 18 books and CDs, but the goal is very simple. This is basically, if you want to go there, it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, going to give you all the levels and specialty for 90 days, and then 100000 cash credit. But the goal is, the bonus is, is simple. This is foundation. If you ever want to create residual income, you need to hear every step of the way. Simple. Now, the office email says $29.99. No problem. From there, if you did it now, 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 it's $19.99 with me. Now, if you're one of my coaching packages with no bonuses just to go Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, any of those one days or all three, if you sell $999 while I'm talking, all right, you get to go all days. One Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or just one of the two days. It's up to you. If it's you're in a coaching package for three to 12 months. If you're not, don't worry about it because you're not going to be accepted unless it's $19.99. But that's $9.99 if it's done before I'm done talking. And if I'm done talking, you blow it. Simple. I like Zell, Zell, Zell. Now, now, now. But if you don't, it's okay because other people will do it too. We get to play my way. Here's your problem. Time. You're getting older, slower. You're not as pretty as you used to be. And the bottom line is time's running out. You see, we got to understand the lack of knowledge is the stupidity of man or woman. But what happens right now, if we don't do a corporation and divisions now, 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 come January, it won't be two years old, which every bank requires for that to be. So you got to play. Now, real estate, when I was doing flippity dippity doos, I was 17 to 21 years old. Now, I found out all the buyers are liars, the agents and the brokers, too, and the contractor that hires a subcontractor that stands out, stands out at Home Depot. They're all trying to steal my money. I got tired of all that BS. At 21, I decided to become the bank. Isn't that more sense? See, here's your problem. You sold a car. Did you realize you could have been the bank and sold the car? They could pay you and you pay the loan. You could have buffered the money and got money for three to ten years. Oh, you did property, too? So why didn't you do that too? I don't understand. You've had the opportunity and you screwed it up every time. Oh, well, how about we take an apartment complex and dissect the sucker? And we do become the bank and we master how to do assignment of mortgage. How about in my real estate system? We're going to go through that this week into financial series. How about the assignment of an asset? We get to play. Now, in 14 different states right now, you have properties under 100,000. So there every street corner, there's a real estate office that'll manage your properties. So if we take 50,000 or 5,000, whatever we want to, would you like one, two, or three? You see, you can do section eights that always get paid, or you basically get the property and you put 5,000 down and you start building residual income. Now it's only gonna make you about $1,200 a month per property. It's not gonna get rich, but it's gonna add to an income. That's the ultimate goal. So again, 5,000 down, you can get a piece of property ran by third party. And guess what you get to do? Start building residual income. 1,000, 3,000, 10,000, 50,000 and more. It's up to you. Now, making a money making machine is kind of fun. But again, if you want to sell computers and widgets, okay, 100,000 to a million dollars. You don't pay a belt in 90 days. It's called OPM. Other people's money, other people's assets too. We're going to get a Dun & Bradstreet set up. And you can sell on Amazon and eBay. There you go. Simple. Again, don't get these kind of goodies till you have $5 million. So the ultimate goal is God's gift in the mansions, in the harbor, owning properties in all five islands too. And you got yachts and race boats with your name on them as well. Isn't that fun? I just want to understand I got my trophies and I have attained the goal. Don't you want to attain the goal? You see, I like to build, build big buildings in the Lamborghinis too, wouldn't you? Now, understand, there's no excuse you met me. See, I'll get you there, but I need you to do what I tell you to do. All right? Now, understand, I have everything I want, period, on planet Earth, besides getting back out in front of millions of people at a time. So what do we get to do? Here's me in 1981. 
All right, broke the record for the highest kick, fastest kick on planet Earth. I kicked the door jam at 10 in the basketball hoop. And every time I hear some idiot say, white men can't jump. That makes no sense to me. Kicked at the lights that night. No matter where you come from, guess what you can do? Accomplish your goal. Now, when you hear no, the answer is thank you, walk away, and find a way anyway. No doesn't mean no. It just means they don't know how. You understand that? When I have my thousand steps in the Millionaire's Founders Kit, I sold it at the Bonaventure for 32 years. And every Wednesday night, 5,000 a set. All right, so draw that diagram one more time. And remember, everything around you, like the banks, they bankrupt locations called branch numbers. Sam's Cub, C Geico, Cities. So if we could focus and understand to stop bringing the damn pain home, become a true CFO, and reprogram our brain to millionaire status. My blueprint, I started at nine and a half years old. I call it, see it, believe it, go get it. Is that okay? See, that's what works for me. But you today, you're treading water. I bet you you're playing it safe. Now understand, there's five things you need to write down now, now, now. This is very simple. You need a 750 score, not care, credit, first premier. You need a corporation with 26 divisions. You need literally cash credit up to a million dollars. You need checkbook money the same and supply and vendor money. Write it down because you can't take a picture. You can't record. So again, must have things to make it to the million dollar dream. Very simple. Now, I like to take your corporation you have today. If not, I'll hand you one for free. You'll pay your filing fee. I want to teach you how to stop bringing the pain home. Put your ducks in a row and literally repackage you under the same corporation. Is that okay? So we're going to play my way just a little bit. Now, I've incorporated presidents and rich and famous people for years. Very simple. Before my coma died in 2009, came back to help you. I was known as the rich and famous people they incorporated for all of them. It's simple. Now, let's understand. What did you do? I'll bet you had a kitchen table meeting with your family and your friends. Honey, we're going to start a business. Oh, goody. We're going to jack up the cards, drop the score, get stuck, not can't anymore, put our family in jeopardy and back our assets in the wall and jack up that and can't ride up Dilly Squat and hawk her house and be stupid. Well, that's what you did. I think that's called dumb, don't you think? So let's do this. Let's never bring the pain on. Let's do it my way for a while. Let me be in the driver's seat for a little bit. Is that okay? You see, why don't you write down today's date, project 90 working days. You're going to fall down a thousand times. You're going to win 10. That's how it works. Simple. Now, I wrote winning the game of business 45 years ago. Page six, I was showing people what I'm doing for me. Cash flow, free of my time. Page six, paragraph three. There I am in that coma. My wife, we had three yachts in the backyard. She wanted to take a group of people. We did to watch the fireworks. Isn't that nice? Uh, the next day, I get to be in a coma. She tells everybody he's in a coma. He's going to probably die. Ron takes the U-Haul truck to my office at One Technology Drive Urban Spectrum, 22,000 square foot building with a U-Haul truck stealing my books and CDs. Tom, my IT manager, selling my websites and my phone numbers while I'm laying there in the hospital going to die on these people's suite. So if you ever want a copy of it, you call the office. It's $499 instead of $5,000. If you did it during a broadcast with me, I give it to you for $99 shipping handling. But it has to be a Zell, Zell, Zell. If not, forget it. Call the office and pay $4.99. There's your sell, sell, sell. Starting a business, running a business. Oh, my goodness. The people around here, they're going to push you off the cliff or going to die or basically going to fall off for what? Hold your breath. Now, understand for me, it's very simple. I had a problem. Mommy didn't want me. I got used and abused as a kid by Mrs. Hope. If I didn't get up at 225 every morning, all right, the abuser would get me. So ever since I was a little boy, I've been waking up at 225. Every day since that day, I can't stop. My wife will says, why don't you just relax and sleep a little longer? I can't. I'm up every day, 225, get to my knees, thank you, Jesus, for another day. Then I go look in the mirror. See, I do my mirror test since I was a little boy. I remember crying at two and a half years old and looking in the mirror. And I looked at myself and go, how am I going to get out of hell? I have to do it myself. So that's what I did. I taught myself how to read two and a half years old. Sixth grade, they told me I was retarded because I read with both hands and talk at the same time. And I have total recall on those things. And I got an IQ of 203. Oh, well, what can I say? I didn't think I was stupid. I think they were stupid. You know what happens when you tell your friends and family you got an idea? Oh, goody. You want them to encourage you, right? 
Instead, they interrupt you and tell you how to do your idea, and they haven't done dually squat themselves. Isn't that amazing? It happens every time. Don't let them cloud your direction. Now, here's one of the yachts, July 4, 2009. What do we get to do? There I am in that coma. I already died at 541. You know what? In July 5th, I listen. And I can hear what's going on in the room. Tax attorneys tricked my wife to sign a POA. And then the nurse asked my wife if I was a donor. They're going to rip out my heart, take it away. Jesus said, stay in peace and go back. I said, go back. So that's what I did. So understand, we all have a sad story to tell. My feel sorry for myself is three seconds. You get three minutes, okay? I moved 24 times by the time I'm 11 and a half years old, living with a lot of shitty people, users and abusers. I've been shot twice, nine, six times. So I got no excuse, but neither do you. So understand, I believe I'm really God's example, one of them at least. So we play. I got this book called Jesus is Not a drive Through." All right, coming out soon. Being a Christian's way of life, not a moment in time. I got 39 books ready to go. Oh, I got Bite Your Tongue, Love Longer. I wrote it for men to shut up because they can't take back what they say to a woman. She's a tape recorder. Now I add another chapter for my wife and my daughters. They got to bite their tongue, love longer too. How about fight the monster within? How about bullshit doesn't pay your bills? I see a lot of bullshit on TikTok, Google, and YouTube, and go blah, blah, blah. If they're not holding your hand personally, the person talking to you in the beginning and end, I think it's BS. That's just my opinion, too. How about fight through the pain? So I think you're stuck. Let's get you unstuck. Let's get you past go. Show you some Lamborghinis, a Duffy, a mansion. White men do jumps. Stupid people say we dumb. More Lamborghinis, race boats in the backyard. Helicopters, u docks, yachts. How about some Ferraris, too? Isn't that fun? A couple things I obtained. Would you like to see more? See, you got to play my way. But again, I call it raise rules. Is that okay? And what is my blueprint called again? See it, believe it, go get it. Isn't that fun? So let's understand today is pretty simple. Now, credit repair, I'm sorry. I think it's the biggest fraud out there, in my opinion. They don't have a magic wand. You get this ding dong going, your balances need to be 1% to 5%. Good. Watch them shrink your limit and close your account. That's called stupid. You can't get any more. What can I say? But I don't have to say it. Federal Trade Commission right here says they can't collect money up front, but they keep doing that. I think they need another credit repair sweep. Put them all out of business in prison where they belong. But again, the top four of them have been indicted four times. How about the Credit Repair Organization Act? All you got to do is Google Section 611. It'll tell you what you need to do for yourself. Now, I don't know how they're going to remove a collection that's open, because if they remove it, it's going to come back again and again and again, and it doesn't go away. So you can't rip off your creditor and be a crook. So let's understand. We've got to man up, woman up, be responsible for our debts. All right. The next thing is we look at TRW that started it all. The report's wrong or Thomas Raymond Warwich. And what did I do when I trained Yarborough years ago? And what happened is they were bought at 96 by Asperian. And Asperian was indicted so many times and hacked so many times, they moved 30 years ago to Dublin, Ireland. Isn't that fun? See, it's 25, 20% per rule. Both sides work sometimes too fast. So what do we get to do? Is good, fair, or hell no? These cards will balance your score so you don't screw up anymore. Is that okay? You maintain a 750 from now on. So let's understand. Let's negotiate open debt. You got five ways to kill a debt. From there, all cards are 25, 29% rule. And you do a wrapper refresh. That's simple. And what is this? It's a kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. People aren't stupid. The bottom line is half the people in this world are friggin' lazy. There they have to, have to see it, believe it, go get it. Let's give you the first 25 steps today. Play my way. Here's into it. They bought Credit Karma December 3rd, 2020. Credit Karma was indicted three times for lying. What else is new? So guess what we get to do? We get to teach how to play. Now, if you're part of this basically life lock situation, all I can tell you, they've been indicted six times. Their last indictment was six, $100 million because they said they're crooks. All right, what can I say? But again, just be careful. Now, what do we look at? Let's obtain your reports. Let me analyze them personally within 24 hours. Let's show you how to get to 750. And I'll call your case number in rotation on Saturdays at 1.30 Pacific Standard Time. And I'll tell you from me to you what you need to do. Is that okay? The 750. Let's think. The SS5 form that you did or mommy did, if you were born 71 on, 
You didn't pay attention, sorry to say. Name to be shown on card, full name at birth other than above. So the SS5 form gets you SSN 1040. And that card is not supposed to use for purposes for credit until a bunch of idiots start doing that too. Grown-ups sometimes are just stupid when I thought that was a little boy. So it'll say, don't eliminate, I don't carry with you, and no use for ID purposes because it belongs to Social Administration, not you. Now, understand the SSN is for the 1040 tax return. When you got your first job years ago, you thought they ripped you off that first job. Where's my money? They pointed out the IRS gets their cut, you get the leftover. See, that's what makes you a duck and a sheep. You never looked behind the line, behind the curtain. You thought you can listen to silly and dumb people and follow along. When you follow stupid, you did stupid. Got it? So we look at IRS.gov. We look at the 1244. And we file one tax return. So we almost never pay tax again. At least up to the first three to five million, okay? So there's that SS5. Why don't we take and compare it to an SS4? Is that okay? Line one, what does it say? Legal name of entity, individual person. So Bank of America bankrupt 5,000 locations called branch numbers. Banks, grocery stores, and cities. They have a different number for every location. Oh, maybe that's why I created division process in 8586. What does this say? Simple. It says banking and credit purposes right there. Per entity. You didn't give yourself more than one chance to try. As long as you're trying, you're not dying. If you're not trying, you must as well be dead. Now, your corporation through raised rules can do four things. That's it. All right. It's going to buffer tax or taxes due to your profitable, simple, and all the cash credit we build to the corporation. You're going to write off your trade and credit card, too. And what's going to happen next? You're going to get a card free price and get the free buffet at the hotel. That's all you get to do. Now, divisions are cheap. Line of defense, multiple functions. Buy at wholesale price. And multiple credit reports and separate liability. Write it down because you can't take a picture and record. Ultimate goal, that's your line of defense. Because you always got somebody trying to tear you down and knock you down too. Kind of sucks. Divisions give you the line of defense. So let's build you a million dollars. Is that okay? Now, I'm going to guarantee exactly what I say I do. As long as you follow through and you're part of the program, you go to class and not follow your what? That means no violation. That means flat out, all right, do not crash your wrap or rescore by applying for credit. Screw it all up. So let's understand. If you do, I got to charge you a fee or close your case. Please don't screw up. You got an open collection account, five ways to kill a debt. You have an IRS problem, you can kill that too. They have a form for that as well. As well. It's as simple. Step three. Now we got to play. Let's understand today. If you want that 750 score, all you got to do is let me analyze it today. I'm going to do a wrapper rescore, and I'm going to push your score up, up, and away, block your crappy credit, and create some green lights and get you some cards so you can do the Macarena. Steal from Peter to pay Paul and make Mary happy. Got to balance the debt. Got to play my way. So if you basically want to play, you go to the class. We do the wrapper rescore. All right, very simple. And we're going to basically make sure you get a 750 score and hold your hand every step of the way. We're going to charge you $999. We're going to give you a thousand card back so you can reverse yourself. Isn't that fun? During a broadcast, we actually discount the price to $499, 50% discount. Then the card be 500 bucks. And then what happens with the discipline and rules I just gave you today? You'll maintain a 750 forever. Is that okay? Now, if you want a corporation starter package, okay, simple. Well, you have a corp, we'll build that one. If not, I'll hand you one for free. That's right. I've been doing that for 45 years. Free corp offices list tax ID. There you go. Now, all I want you to do is go to setup level one on Wednesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to charge you $999 to rebuild your life, and I'm going to hand you $5,000 in cash credit back. Five times your investment. Oh, you want $25,000, then it's $24.99. Five times your money back, too. Analyze, add history, and pop credit right away. You want that opportunity today? It's very simple. It's a sell, sell, now, now, now. You put RW or you call the office at 800 254 9506. If you use a card, they will charge you 5% more because that's what the bank charges us. Simple to say. Now, what do you got next? Oh, you're on the national mailing list. You did it to yourself. Why did you do that? See, when you look at the list, they sell it like I'm a voter like you. They sell that list 412 times a year.
You got a cable bill? You got a corporation? Why don't you call 888-567-8688 and opt out for five years or a lifetime? And off the mailing list, slow down the robocalls and the junk mail. Phone number is right in front of you. All you do is call later today. Now, the next thing we got to think about is step number five. This means you have to plan the problem. I'm sorry. Your friend and family member ripped you off. You spent thousands of crap that didn't work. And you didn't have safety credit. Remember, sticky behind every car and the rules I gave you earlier today. You build your line of defense. And when I designed years ago, all the dashboards kind of caught up. Zero to 29 is green. 30 is yellow. 50 is red. The discipline is what you're lacking today. We get to play my way for a while. Is that okay? So keep in mind, all cards you have like these, all right, there's all cards but two. You're going to maintain 25, 29% rule. All right, and if you don't, we can't get you more credit. So the next thing we're going to focus on is the two cards that don't fluctuate at all, gold and platinum cards. So they're up to unlimited, up to a million dollars. So as long as you maintain a payment, they don't screw up your credit ever. And that way you can use those cards to never go past 29%. And what happens next, you maintain a 750 score. Then you can get some more. Now, the next thing is if you lose your job, have mercy, what do you do? It's simple. Everybody does the same silly thing. And all right, literally, they run out of time. They run out of money. And then they go jack these suckers up and they tell everybody, feel sorry for me. Nobody cares. So let's understand today, you need $5,000 now, now, now. You said the word need. Your bank, your friends, and family will tell you no. But this card, $5,000, I max it out. It's $50 a month. So what do I get to do? They say you waste 140 a week. If that's true, that's 600 a month. If we take $50,000 off of a corporate credit card, we write out the interest rate in the credit card, and we go buy two pizza pizza restaurants with a drive through during a pandemic using some common sense. By the way, that's called residual income. Oh, I guess white men do jump. Nixon took the gold standard out. Please write down raise rules. Then write the following. I'm willing to sacrifice the division, never the corporate and my family, and I have no intent to do fraud. There you go. That's your cake you need it too. Raise rules, number seven, by the way. And basically become a certified CFO and never bring the pain home. Is that okay if we play my way for a while? So let's understand how to play it. Now, here I'm dead. Why don't you Google the address? That's for the home at the address. The largest UDOC in Huntington Harbor. So I was in two comas. One, I was crippled for life at five and a half. Jesus said, get up. I got up. That's when I got to die and come back and help you. The devil's trying to hold us back and knock us down. But the gods, the laser, are not gods denials. So let's understand. I like to repackage you like Humpty Dumpty. My way. I'm sorry. I think your way sucks. So I'll ask those questions again. Do you want to enhance your income or would you like to replace it? Which one would you like? Get your hands dirty and always ask, what about me? Because that's what you got to focus on. That blueprint call. Oh, past, present, and future. Family, corporation, 26 divisions, irrevocable trust, car, division, house, trust, and residual income. And get cash flow to free up your time. Got it so far? So understand, banks will allow you up to 150000 to 250000 all right, of checkbook money. I just got basically now up to 27 people in the last three weeks. Got checkbook money up to $150,000 plus. Isn't that fun? That's the money you get into basically franchise real estate or something. Residual income. But your corporation and divisions have to be two years old. Got it so far? That's why they have to be done now, now, now. So if I basically certify you as a CFO and I build you that corporate millionaire where you get to have fun, you can actually build residual income too. Again, let's understand corporations, a legal person may sue or be sued. Lack of knowledge is what makes people do stupid things. And this is kind of pathetic. He's not homeless. He's just begging for food. This is ridiculous. It's pathetic. Go to the church, get the food for the kids, drive an Uber, drive a Lyft, have a garage sale. Hey, I ate out of a trash can. I came out of a coma worth millions and billions, and they stole everything with my family and my kids. What am I going to do? Sell my wedding ring, my Rolex, my necklace, my bracelet. Because I have my three closet divisions and my five closet divisions, three divisions of me, I build a million dollars of credit in six weeks. See, your problem is you got to have a backup for a backup and be prepared because this world wants to kick your assets too. Corporation can kind of build itself if you play. 
But again, division process is a lot of defense. Always think about I'm willing to sacrifice a division, not the corporate of my family. Ultimate goal. So if you allow me to get you the tax ID, I'm going to set up the Spear and Treasury and Equifax credit reports under tax ID. Then I'm going to get you some cash credit. And then from there, I'll line you up for some checkbook money. Again, divisions make you multiply the credit. So it's like in my book, book called Buckets of Money, 190000 a month. That was my first matrix I did. Simple. You might want to get a copy of that too. But again, it's up to you. Look at your corp. Put your ducks in a row. They sue it today. They sue you. All right. That kind of sucks. A lot of defense will protect the corp and your family. And do it my way for just a little bit too. You'll find out it works. But again, I even wrote a book on daisy chaining of credit. One card did nine more. And then what do we get to do? Lines of credit too. We get to play my way. Isn't okay. Now there's 89 ways you use out of division. How do I know I invented division process and I wrote the book on that too. Isn't this fun? You see, you're going to need nine divisions for profit, nine for nonprofit, three divisions of me, and five closet divisions. That's basically 26 divisions if you want to get to millionaire. But again, each division is $4.99 each at the office, three for $14.97. I'm going to add 10000 history today, and I want to give them away literally for $99 each. Then if you want 18 to 26, you save a little bit more. If it was done during this broadcast only, Again, that way you get the two years come January, getting lines of credit too. Here's basically a Zal, 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 and that's what you need to do. So let's understand. Call the office, 800-254-9506. If you use a car, they will charge you 5% more. Now, I like goodies. You like goodies, yeah? I got to ride with Neil Diamond a couple of times too in the love ride. Oh, I like these kind of goodies. My name's on every one of them. But again, what do you get to do? Not till you get $5 million. Let's get you up to a million dollars of cash cards and up to five point and some million dollars of checkbook money. Now, let's understand. We rebuild you here. Then we go get the green card, unlimited up to 100,000. Then we get the two little ones at 30,000. That's 160 times nine. Why don't we turn around and get the blue card times nine? How will we get the, you know, the Wells Fargo times nine? How will we turn around and get the ink card times nine? And then from there, the gold times nine? That could be up to five million. It's on five cards. I only like 10 anyway. So what do we look at? Checkbook money. The bank will give you up to $250,000 with no tax returns. As long as you have a two-year division or corporation. Is that okay? I call that checkbook money. But it's up to you. There you go. Up to $5.4 million. But again, the ultimate goal is very simple to do as we play the game. So understand, I got specialty classes in rotation too at 8.30 in the morning, every Saturday morning, unless I have a boot camp too. So what are we going to do? We're going to take the corporate credit. We're going to write off the interest rate in the credit card, and we're going to finance our dream. Borrow money is not taxable. So you're going to buy your lifetime income and get residual income. That's the goal, and that's how you basically turn around and get basically you want raise rules, become a certified CEO, never bring the pain home. We get to play my way for a while. Let's pretend I gave you a check for $1 million. Let's pretend. Your first thing is, oh, what the hell is in the car? You're so busy thinking about you pissing it away. That's what you'd probably do. See, if you put that million dollar check in your personal account, you get to keep 375. I would have told you to put a division of you. Very simple. And then multiply reference three times five, 15 million. Then you do all the business and pay tax on the leftover. No leftover, there's no tax. Isn't that terrible? Kind of like rich and famous people do. You win the lottery today, what are you going to do? Now what? Uh, I'm going to tell you to put a division of you. Your tax attorney is going to say, put it in your personal account, SSN. I'm going to say no. And you're going to say, I'm going to put a division of me. They're going to, what's that? You have to explain it to them, by the way, slowly, because they don't know really how to play. A division of you on the bank account and under the tax ID. Then you're going to sit with down with the banker, and you're going to borrow against it. And you're not going to spend or piss it away this time. Borrowing is not taxable. And you're going to understand how to get millions and billions. Is that okay? We do it my way for a while. You've had 11 cities fall bankruptcy because corporations or states and cities, they credit Chapter 9 bankruptcy. You could have played the same game with no intent to do fraud, but you didn't pay attention. So let's look at bankruptcy today. You got a choice, SSN versus SS4. 
Who wants to be the duck the next time shit hits the fan in your life? Who's going to be the duck this time? You see, you've got a choice to play, but it's up to you to pay attention. Add you to my credit system. Get your million dollars of credit. You go to class. You don't fall in your one, and you learn to play, and you follow through. Beat your doubt. Run your race. Isn't that the goal? Simple. The next thing we have to do is get him past go because I think you're stuck. God's gift in the mansion in the harbor, race boats and yachts and helicopters and Lamborghinis and buildings too. I'd like you to change your driver's license in the future to a P.O. box or mail-in address, but that's up to you. Then I'd like to look at your car today. The one you let you sweat you for five hours, up to nine inquiries and you lost $20,000 too. Sorry, you can always write off the car, but let's do it my way. Car should be fleet price tax ID division. See, it's not the point the car getting it right off. It's who's the registered owner. It's like when you have a house. Why would you put two people on the loan? And if you lose it, you both get shitty credit and 1099C, and you screw up that too. Lose the house and the car. Oh, no. Car should have been the division of a corporation. There's a 1099C that the creditor is going to give you too from the IRS. Kind of sucks. Now you got double shitty credit. So the goal is the red showing of a car. Because if you're in a bumpity bump, you're always going to be one. We all are. It's not going to be when or actually when it's going to happen. It's when it's going to happen. When they sue the registered owner as a division, then the bottom line is you protected you and your family. All right. They sue the registered owner, not basically you. So let's understand how to play. Plan the problem. But again, that's up to you. So every property you get should be a division because you don't know which one's going to slip, fall and sue you and screw you up. So let's understand. As we play this game, house payment offsets taxes. Amazon didn't pay tax on the first 10 billion to double trillion. Why would they pay tax? They're doing what they're allowed to do. There's no loophole. He came and he basically did one thing. He bought Twitter within 24 hours in front of the world. He got $44 billion from the banks. Now they're pissed off and don't like him because it's only worth 19 billion. And then it's going, Neow. he screwed it up in less than two weeks. I mean, come on. And even people at SpaceX don't like some things he does. But he's got a spaceship. Oh, goody. So do the other two guys. But again, it's going to be up to you. So let's understand how to play. You could join the club and you can win the battle. Step 15, run your life through a corporation in conjunction. That's simple. So from here, we look at pay tax or buy a Lamborghini. So your income is tax income, right? You pay car payment, gas registration, insurance. Why don't you yell no and literally turn around and write it all off like I do? Because it's a business expense and a liability to the division, not you. But again, that's up to you. Why don't you go and get the SS4 form from IRS.gov today and see it says banking and credit purposes. Did you know you never had to be a duck and a sheep? You chose to do that. Here's mama. Right after Nixon took the gold standard out in 71, she had to sign the SSN to the SS5 form so the baby and her can go home. You buy a house, escrow close homestead trust. You have a house not in a trust, go, what happens now? When they sue you, they take it away. And when you're dead, they stick stuck in your probate and your family got daily squat. So all of a sudden today, you fix up a property, you hire the contractor that hires the subcontractor that stands outside Home Depot. Good workers. Well, what happens when they slip and cut, cut corners and they want to sue you and screw you up? Well, my way, they kind of get diddly squat. I like irrevocable trust. Step 19, you might want to play with me just a little bit and stop bringing the pain home. So if you want to be a crook and don't file tax returns, it's very simple. Just like Wesley Snipes, he went to prison for three years, $5 million fine. All right, just go to prison where you belong. You can't play peekaboo with the IRS making a mess. Simple. Step number 20. We're going to play my way. Richard didn't listen. He went to prison for three and a half years. Ten years probation and violated that too. So guess what? Under the corporation and the division process, you can save 70%. You can pay a bill in 90 days. You can leverage money up to $15 million. And guess what? You can set up the line of defense. And you can stop bringing the pain home. Isn't that fun? Step 21. Go blackjack. Looks like you get to win. Isn't that okay? Now, here's my office in 2009, 22,000 square foot building. One technology, Irvine Spectrum, came out of the coma. Everything's gone. It's all gone. What do I do? Go home and go boo boo home. I didn't have a home. My wife and my kids, what am I going to do? I took out my blueprint, see it, believe it, go get it. 
I counted three seconds. That's my crying period. I'm done. I took out my three divisions of me, my five clouds of divisions, and then I build a million dollars of freaking credit. Why the hell haven't you? I don't understand. Why would you bring the pain home in the first place? You never had to. You got to play my way a little bit. Thousand steps to millionaire. Here's a millionaire's founder's kit. And your problem is you don't have your time. Your time has you. Biggest thing you got to focus on. That's what our whole thing about is this weekend is. Residual income. So if you're not in the boot camp, you should be. Because it's my last and final one. And I want to make sure we talk about residual income. Apartment complex, loaning out money, franchise. All kinds of goodies. But again, it's simple. If you want to go the three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all right, and you get 90 days of classes, and you get literally 100,000 of credit, all right, very simple. This is our foundation. It's going to be $29.99 at the office. Today, you get it for $19.99. Now, if you're in one of my coaching programs for three to six months to a year, your fee is $9.99. No bonuses, but you're in the three days. Go Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All three days is up to you. But it's one price right away if it's a zell, zell, zell before I'm done talking. If not, call your specialist and all right, let them charge you $29.99. Now, I like boring businesses. I like having my 22,000 pay phones. I wrote the book on laundromats and dry cleaning too. But again, what do I want to do? I want you to take $40,000 and buy a business ran by third party. Three to 10,000 a month, 100,000, 10,000 to 45,000. 250 or up to 75,000 a month. So we're going to focus on maybe real estate. Okay, they want 3 million for this. No problem, it's existing, it's all leased up. 10% down, $300,000. There's a new loan. What do we have? Minus the income right now. You got 13,452. Then you think you're done. Hell no. All it takes is one of those tenants to slip on sue you and knock you off the cliff again. That kind of sucks. So what do we do? We split deed each unit. We basically become the bank. See, when they're the tenant, they can sue you. When you're the bank, they can sue them. They can't sue you. You reverse the liability. So the real estate, the franchise, the storage units. You got a three months, six months, 12 months coaching program with me. All right, you're gonna own it, not run it. Is that okay? We do it my way. When you go to the expo, it's like deer in the headlight. What are we gonna do? Well, the bottom line is just play my way. 125 down, 63,000 a month. 47,000 down, 30,000 a month. You want a Wendy's? You want a Jack in a Box? You want a gas station? You see, you gotta look at necessity businesses. You see them empty, let me know, it's opportunity. What do we start with? Our list. The goal list is the index of the book. Then we have to have the activity sheet. Daily, weekly list, and then the project list. That's the fun part. So guess what? If you get into one of these coaching programs, you can finance and your goal should be five million next year. But what happens is in the three months, it lines you up. You don't get one yet. Your six months, you should have your first entity under a division. In the 12 months, you should have multiple units. But again, if it's a payment, you're gonna finance it, it's weekly payments. We don't accept bi-weekly or monthly anymore because I'm not chasing the money to get the honey. Your goal is residual income. So let's focus on this. So all of a sudden, we're going to make sure you're in all classes. All right, we're going to have weekly calls. All right, and the wrapper rescore up, up, and away. It's very simple. As we do this, there's five things to master as we build it up, up, and away, especially about daisy chaining of credit. So the goal is if you want the three months, it's a thousand down. It's an eight thousand dollar package. You maintain six hundred dollars weekly payment during the three months. If you paid eight thousand in full at one time, and then I give you bonus credit of $100,000. If you did this six months, it's a thousand down, $600 a week again. And if you paid the 15,000 in full, then you're gonna get basically 250,000 of credit. If you did the 12 months, it's a thousand down. It's $31,000, $600 a week for 12 months. If you paid in full 25,000, you save 5,000. When you pay in full, I also build you half a million dollars of credit to that too. There's your Zell, 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 bank transfer, depositor, wire. See, Mr. Buffett's a great guy. The reality is he's doing what I want you to do. I want you to own it, not run it. All right, there's no difference between him and you. The difference is I can teach you how to play a corporation as a legal person that may sue or be sued. Divisions are your line of defense. 
division basically is what I'm willing to sacrifice or no intent to defraud. I want to protect my corp and my family. Divisions I can multiply, like I proved in my buckets of money book, 190,000 a month. We loan that money too. So nine divisions for profit, nine divisions for nonprofit, three divisions of me, and then five closet divisions too. That's why it's 26. Each division today, adding 10,000 of history. And they're $99 each if it was a Zell, Zell, Zell. 18 to 26 is even cheaper. That way by January 2nd, guess what it's going to be? It's going to be two years old. So that's what we get to do. Very simple. So the bottom line is a Zell, 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 the ultimate goal. Now, what are you willing to lose is the kind of thing you got to think about. So the ultimate goal is going to be very simple. What are we willing to lose? All right, hopefully nothing. Okay, so the ultimate goal is very simple as you play this game. Now, me, I didn't get a family. I got to be used and abused as a kid, and it sucks. So when I finally got a wife, and I got six kids and ten grandkids, I'm not bringing the pain home. Corporation, they can sue, sue you. Division process is the goal. So the ultimate goal, think about getting your cake and eat it too. Checkmate. I like that. So we get to play the right way. So let's understand. I like the big buildings and the Lamborghinis. So reaching the dream. Think to be the impossible. I've done it all my life. Raise rules, making millionaires and billionaires. Corps and divisions, training people how to be a certified CFO. Again, you got a house, you got credit, and joint credit, just get rid of it. It's in the way. You buy a house, it's escrow closed homestead trust. Corporation, why would anybody be dumb enough to pay thousands for a piece of paper? That's free, not learn daily squat, pay the little filing fee. Divisions for real estate, franchise, current business, line of defense. Raise rules is to give you up to 10 times your money back for anything you do with me. That way, I take away your excuses and your finance and you write it all out too. Isn't that okay? Step 24. Now, if all you want from me is a 750 score, okay. Let's analyze. Let's do a wrapper rescore. Let's get you to class, not fall on your one, 750. Let's charge you the 999, give you a thousand on card back. But during this program, I discount it for 499 and a $500 card back to you. With the rules and tools I gave you today, you can maintain that 750 forever. Just follow through and get your discipline down too. Now understand, if you want a corporation, if you don't have one, I'll give it to you for free. If you have one, I'll teach you how to play with the one you got. You go to set up on level one every Wednesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And what do we get to? 999, $5,000 credit back to you. Five times your investment, 2499, 25,000 of credit back to you. You see, you're going to analyze, add history, and start popping credit right away. Now, if you want to play that way, it's simple. It's a Zell, 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 Ray Reynolds recipient, Ray at RichCredit.com, RW and Zell, or call the office at 800-254-9506. Just remember, if you use a card, they will charge you 5% more. Referrals are great. Referrals, I'll bill more credit. If you want 10%, I'll Zell it back to you as long as they name your name when they sign up. If not, they blew it for you. That's why I always give you my personal email address, too. So if we look at the banks and the grocery stores, they don't bring the pain on the bankrupt pieces. You do because you didn't know how to play. You allowed yourself to be one. That's a lonely number. So I want you to learn to stop bringing the pain home, become a certified CFO, and reprogram brain to millionaire status. I want you to look behind that curtain, learn how to play like I did, and that way you never bring the pain home. We stay safe. We stay strong. We do our best. Jesus does the rest, amen to that too. So at the end of the day, it's going to be up to you. So if I was you, I'd be Zell, Zell, now, 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 or 800-254-9506. We do our best. God does the rest, amen to that too. And we never forget at the end of the day, God loves us all.